Hi, this is Lauren with Summer House Realty. I'm at address 850 Harrington Drive in Grovetown, Georgia. This is a all brick, five bedroom, three bathroom home, 3,363 square feet, built in 2014. You have a two car garage on the right side of the house. You do have gutters. You do have a slight hill going up, but good for rain deferment. Located in a well-developed neighborhood, Chastain Place. You do have sidewalks on each side. There's a pool. HOA is $475 a year. This particular home is on a quarter acre lot. Nice big lot. Architectural shingle roof. Nice big front porch. When you first walk into the home, you have this beautiful foyer area with hardwood floors. Opens up to your dining room and great room. Nice tall ceilings. To the right, or excuse me, to the left, you have what could be, it's considered a bedroom because it does have a closet. Um, but they're utilizing it as an office space. So you could make it into a, bed a, a bedroom or you could leave it kind of as a formal living room, office space. This is to the left-hand side. Window overlooks the front of the house. To the right of the front door is your formal dining room. They have a six-person table. A hut, two hutches. It's a really great size dining room. You do have wainscoting up more than half the wall. Two windows overlooking the front yard. Continuing through to the left, you have a little hallway that's kind of off of your great room. This leads to the first full bathroom, tile floors, nice shower with a seat. There is a um, seat in the back corner. Bedroom number two. This overlooks the back left corner of the house. Great for if you maybe have elder parents that come and visit, that way they don't have to go up and down the stairs. Master is also on the main floor. Just wanna point that out. And right outside this bathroom, you do have a coat closet. Lots and lots of storage in this house. Single sink vanity with granite. In the great room, you have nice tall ceilings, recessed lighting all the way at the very top. You do have a ceiling fan and light combo as well. Hand scraped hardwood floors. Your fireplace, which I'll show you in just a second. And great room does open up to the kitchen as well. But I'm gonna go um, through the kitchen a different way. Just wanna show you the fireplace. It is an electric fireplace. You have like a mosaic tile around it. I'm gonna go through the kitchen this way just so you can get a feel for the floor plan. 
Um, you do have two access points for the kitchen. One is off the hallway that's in between the dining room and the kitchen. And then you obviously have access from the great room as well. You have 42 inch cabinets, recessed lighting, granite countertops, tile backsplash. Corner pantry. So you have a nice walk-in corner pantry. Stainless steel appliances. You do have an eat-in breakfast area off the kitchen that overlooks the backyard. And access to the backyard is off of the eat-in breakfast. <clears throat> and I'll go outside last. Nice tile design behind the stove. Pantry. Continuing down the hallway, coming from the dining room, great room, straight ahead is your master. To the right is your garage and your stairs. So I'm gonna go to the right. Underneath the stairs, you do have a little bit of storage here. Straight ahead is your garage. Right off the garage, you do have this beautiful mudroom area. You have a great place to hang your backpacks with the tree hall, or hall tree, excuse me. It does have granite countertops and it opens up to your oversized, very oversized laundry room. In the laundry room, you have a utility sink, overhead storage, a folding table, and the laundry room actually opens up into the master closet. That way you don't have to be dragging clothes around the house. It does open up to the master closet, but I'll enter that in a, di a different way so you can get a feel for the floor, floor plan. And you have yet another linen storage pantry kind of closet here in the, in the laundry room as well. Two car garage. You do have your sprinkler system out here and your water heater out here. And this floor plan is very unique. So I'm trying to explain it the best that I can. Um, again, coming off the kitchen, stairs are to the right, but I'm gonna continue straight. Once again, underneath the stairs to the right, you do have a linen closet here. And then your master is to the left. Now, as a how in the house of a whole as a whole, this is on the back right hand corner. The master bedroom is on the back right hand corner of the house. You have a tray ceiling, lots of windows for natural lighting. For size reference, they do have a king bed in here, two nightstands, two dressers, a chair, and a bench. So this room is a very good size room. Master bath is on the right corner of the of, of the master bedroom. You have a dual sink vanity with granite, lots of cabinet space, tile floors. You have a tile jetted soaking tub, as well as a top tile shower. This shower does not have a bench seat in it. Just want to point that out. Commode is behind a door for privacy. And then master closet is in the very back of the master bedroom or bathroom. And this is what opens up into the laundry room. You do have some built-ins, great for your shoes. All right, 
And I'm going upstairs. Coming out of the master, this is your view. Stairs are to the left if you're coming out of the master. When you come up the first set of stairs, you actually have the, it goes into a Y. So you have one set to the left, one set to the right. To the right is like the bonus room. This door is just attic space, walk-in attic space. This is the bonus room that is over the garage. You have nice tall ceilings. This overlooks the front of the house. I do have these room sizes if you're interested. Nice closet space in here. All right. Going to the left of the stairs. You have this hallway. To the left, you have a linen closet. To the right is full bathroom number three. Tile floors, granite countertops. It is a dual sink vanity. Shower and tub combo. Behind a door for privacy. Bedroom four and five. One is to the left, one is to the right. So bedroom number four overlooks the front of the house. Nice closet. And Bedroom number five is on the right. This overlooks the back of the house. Nice closet. And then at the very, very end of this hallway, it does overlook the living room and it overlooks the foyer. But again, this is just walk-in attic space. Not a lot of it's floored, but you have a little bit. Again, this is Lauren with Summer House Realty. If you'd like to know more about this property, please give me a call at 706 461-7973. Have a great day.